All right, now a running mate to the NDC flag bearer, Professor Jane Nana Opokwajiman, has visited her hometown, Commenda, to introduce herself to the chiefs and people in the community after she was outdoored as a running mate to John Mahama on Monday. The visit is also to seek their support and blessings as she begins her new role. Scores of residents throng the streets to welcome her back home. Richard Kujunyako has more. Before addressing the crowd at the Lorry Park at Commenda, Professor Nana Jane Opokwajiman first visited the Omahini of the Commenda traditional area, Nana Kojo Kru II, to ask for his blessings. <laughs> She explained her visit was just to introduce herself to her father, Nana Kojo Kru, the chief of commander, after she was introduced to the whole nation on Monday by the NDC flag bearer, John Mahama. In normal circumstances, I was supposed to visit my father to seek his thoughts when the invitation was extended to me. However, the urgent nature of the invitation made it impossible. All the same, I reached out to my father on phone for his blessings. Now I'm here to inform my father that what I told him about on phone has indeed happened and to seek his fatherly blessings. This is why I'm here. My father, here I am. Your daughter is now running mates to the NDC flag bearer, John Mahama. Paramount chief of the Commander Traditional Area, Nana Kojo Kru II, told Professor Nana Jeno Pukwajiman that he discovered something unique in her from the time she became the vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast. According to the chief, when he heard rumors of the likelihood of Professor Pukwajiman to be chosen as a running mate, he assured himself that the seat is coming to Commander because they knew what they were doing in support of that. Professor Nana Jane Opokwajiman addressed her town folks after her meeting with the chief of commander. She told the crowd tradition demanded she return home to seek their support and blessings after the responsibility was bestowed on her. Richard Kwejenya Akon, Joy News, Cape Coast.